were saying, God, I'll give you everything if you show me that you're real. I'd grown up in church, but God was never a reality to me. And in that moment, it wasn't a preacher, it wasn't a denomination or a doctrine, but it was by the power and the spirit of God that God came over me and began to show me vision, saying, Isaiah, I want everything you have to bring law enforcement, a relationship. I want you to give me everything and I'll use you. So I, I said, okay, Lord, I'll do whatever you want. I'll give you anything. He showed me a vision of my house being full of people, all these friends that were coming, people from the nations, different churches. I just see it packed out outside and inside. So I get home. My uncle's doing a conference in New York. Um, I texted him probably 150 times that night. I just completely lost it. And the reality was that everything I had seen in the supernatural realm had become more real than this natural realm. So I, I, was, I didn't sleep for about three days. I wasn't eating for a few weeks. And my parents were like, man, what are we going to do with them? So my uncle comes and comes home and says, Isaiah, what do you want to do? And I said, the Lord said to pray for a revival. I didn't know what a revival was at the time. So we said, okay. We just started praying on a Monday night. About 25 people show up out of nowhere. And so we're like, wow, God started moving. So he said, let's do it again the next week. 40 people show up. Just people, some friends heard about this crazy kid in Manteca that God was moving. God showed up. So 40 people show up. The next week, 60 people show up. 80 people show up. I remember the second week, a lady comes in with breast cancer. She said, nobody laid hands on me. I felt the breast cancer leave me. The doctor said it's completely gone. We had someone come in the week after that with cervical cancer, completely disappeared. We started doing it again, 120 people show up, 150 show up, 180 show up, 200 people show up. People are getting out of wheelchairs in front of unbelievers. People are getting saved. Um, Muslims are coming, getting converted. Catholics are coming, um, getting converted. Buddhists are coming, getting converted. We have witches coming every week trying to cast spells on people. They're getting saved and arrested by the Holy Spirit, and they're getting delivered. God's doing so many incredible things. We had one girl who came, literally the cancer fell out of her body. And her mom picked up in a bag. The doctor said that's cervical cancer. We had someone coming in with brain tumors. We had people coming in blind. People coming in deaf. People coming in wheelchairs. God's opening ears, creating eardrums, creative miracles. People are getting radically saved. And I'm not talking about just signing a little paper saying, oh, I received Christ. But they're actually surrendering everything they have to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're not gathering under a church name or denomination or a doctrine or a man's idea or a preacher or a good or a nice service. We're gathering the power and the spirit of Jesus. Jesus Christ all down to And he said, if I lift it up, I will draw all people under me. God is shaking this nation. We had about 600 people show up to one of our meetings. People are lined up outside hours before we start waiting just to encounter God. We've had over 15,000 people this last year. God is doing some amazing things. We have people from all over the world watching, pastors calling us to come speak. We have this amazing ministry that started, an amazing team. We're not a revival, we're not a movement, we're not just another ministry. Revival's end, movements has ended. This is what God's doing in our nation. He's awakening the church, He's shaking this nation, He's becoming a reality. He's saying, I don't care about all your ideas, your doctrines, your concepts. He wants power to be restored back to the body of Christ. This is what we're seeing. The time of talk is over. It's time to walk it out. We're, we're not looking for any more information, but God is demonstrating His power and His spirit. The, the reality is the kingdom of God will not come unless somebody brings it. So we're expecting God to do even greater things this year. We're seeing the world getting shifted, the nations coming back in alignment. This is what God's doing. This little town of Manteca, California, revival has broken out. Abortion, suicide, unspeakable crimes. He comes down and he becomes the answer to every question. He becomes the solution to every single problem. He becomes the light of the world, the Savior. He's, God's pouring out spirit. He says, oh yeah, that's where I want to pour out my spirit. That's where I want to do signs and wonders. That's where I want to do miracles. Because pornography is coming out of Hollywood. Abortion is consuming America. God says, I'm going to save that little tiny one right now. I'm here to tell you, someone looked out of heaven when you were all jacked up and screwed up and you hated yourself and said, I want that person in my family and I'll pay my son to get him there. You were paid for whether you like it or not. There's a check in your back pocket. Jesus, and you want to know the first thing he told me? 